previously on Ward University. It's tradition at Ward University for first-year students to star in a mid-year show right before Christmas. Auditions for the show will start at the end of September, so you have a little time to practice. So, what's going on between you and Derek exactly? I mean, are you together, or...? There's no way we could ever be together. Look, Jas. I don't know what you've seen these days with Travis and his friends hanging around here all the time, but just so you know... You're gay. I know. Just... please... don't tell Ryan and Gideon about this. So what? Is this an intervention or something? Call it what you want. It doesn't change the fact that you're a liar and a junkie. He was my best friend here. For a while. But then he met Gideon. So we started growing apart, and then Gideon introduced him to Ryan Flint. So you can probably guess how it went from there. We know you fancy him, darling. And we think it's just so cute that you do. We think you have the potential of becoming a way better version of yourself. You just need a little push. Isn't money the whole reason why you became a lawyer, Bonnie? You know what? You need to grow up. Until then, have fun living in your dreams. Thorne Bailey, famous Del Sol Valley musician and Simi Award winner, is still on the run after the murder of Vanessa Zhang, an up-and-coming celebrity with whom he had seemed to have had a clandestine relationship with. I don't know if I can do this, Mom. What if I turn into him? You will never be like your father, Ez. I can promise you that. Good morning, everyone. Just checking in to let you know that the auditions for the musical are officially over. Most of you did fine, I guess. Could have been better, sure, but none of you are professionals yet, so the expectations were low already. Gee, way to bring down the mood. The audition's results will be available tomorrow before lunch. Tomorrow? But this is not why I called you here. Actually, there's something else I wanted to tell you about. The school will be hosting a Halloween dance at the end of the month. Feel free to invite anyone you wish to dance with, of course. But mind you, the only reason why I'm calling it a Halloween dance is because of the date. This will not be a costume party, so don't you dare show up in a ridiculous witch or zombie outfit. That's gonna be a problem for you, Tia. You're always dressed like that. Watch your mouth, Ray. I expect to see you all in your best formal wear. You can keep your indecent costumes for the dorms, if you really can't help making fools of yourselves. Now, don't you have some classes to attend? Chop chop! Uh, Halloween's gonna suck. I was really hoping we could dress up. She deserves some sort of punishment. How much do you bet I can steal something from her office? That sounds... dangerous. And that's why it's fun. Maybe it's not my way! You wanted to see me, Mom? Yes, sweetheart. Let's move this to my office, though, shall we? Why is the door unlocked? Oh, shit. So... What did you want to talk to me about? It's about Ryan Flint, dear. I've heard you two got acquainted at the freshman party a few weeks ago. Uh, yeah, I, I guess we did. We talked for a while at the bar. That is marvelous, Candy. Really well done. You know, I told both you and Lori to do whatever you could to gain his friendship. But Lori's not my daughter. You are. And of course, it's you I want to see by Ryan Flint's side. And with Laurie's past, 
We both know you would be the best suited wife for him. So you want me to go to the dance with him? I can't tell you who to invite to the dance, now can I? That would be awful of me! It's a choice you have to make, dear. Just keep your best interests at heart. Oh, would you look at the time? You should probably be in class now, shouldn't you? Yes. Well then, let me escort you, so I can tell your professor why you're so late. Whew. That was close. Oh, that must be worth a fortune. So, when are we gonna do that thing? I was thinking sometime this afternoon. Uh, I can't, man. I got this private singing lesson with Lori and Professor Marbury. Didn't you audition already? I did, but, you know. Gotta show Professor Marbury and put in the effort. I have a feeling she doesn't like actors very much. You really care about this musical shit, huh? Aw, oh, come on. You know I don't give a fuck. But whoever's casting the show gets to skip their exams for the semester. It's one night of singing and dancing in tights versus weeks and weeks of studying. If anything, you're dumb for not trying out. It's first years only. Yeah, unless of course you're me. Oh, and about that thing. I'll see you tomorrow at Derek's house, all right? He's got a point, you know? Yeah, he always does. You've all heard Ms. Watt's speech. She thinks the auditions were not good enough. Now, I really hope she wasn't talking about any of you or we're going to need to have a serious discussion. I don't want to see any of those cheap musicians playing one of the main roles. They have no idea of how to express their emotions. They just write a breakup song and think they've done their job. Acting, on the other hand, is the most complex and complete art there is. You're not just making sounds on a keyboard or splashing colors on a canvas. You are the canvas. And you better not disappoint me. So, the audition results are coming out tomorrow. Isn't that exciting? Now, Professor Rings and I want to tell you it's okay if you didn't get a role. We know how determined actors can be, and some of them are pretty good singers, too. We just want to make sure you're not feeling too much pressure over the results. Whatever happens, whoever gets picked, we know you all did the best you could. But I'm sure they don't care about any of this stuff right now, do you guys? You must be so excited about the dance, and nervous, too. What are you going to wear? Who are you going to invite? And are they going to say yes? Oh, to be young and in love. By the way, we're looking for entertainers for the night. I'll be posting an ad on the dorm's bulletin board, but I wanted you guys to hear from me first. Just, please, no trap music, all right? Gives me headaches. I'm going to need to ask if I can bring more than one guest to the ball. I wouldn't want Tati or Nadine to feel left out. What about Derek? Nope, not a chance. He's not the kind of guy you want to bring to a dance. Hey, sick rhymes! You're gonna have to call me MC Travis from now on. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. What about you two? Are you gonna ask someone to the dance? <laughs> no, I'd rather go solo, to be honest. I just need a break from relationships, you know? Like, after all my crazy ex-girlfriend made me go through. No thanks. How many times did you have to change your number again? <sighs> Ten, if you can believe that. Oof, that's rough. What about you, Ez? I never had to change my number. I wasn't talking about your number, you silly goose. Who are you inviting to the dance? flashing before your eyes, then you go back to reality and you're like, <gasps> exactly. <clears throat> what was your question again? 
Don't worry about it. We don't have time for another flashback now. Is it just me, or is everyone talking about the party right now? I mean, that's crazy. The auditions results are coming out tomorrow. Shouldn't that be way more important than some stupid Halloween dance? Why do you care? You're a writer. You're not gonna be part of the show anyway. I know that. I just think it's a little superficial to be focusing on something so trivial right now. I think maybe people are trying not to focus on the musical. They're scared they might not get a role, and talking about the dance is a good way to get their minds off of it. Oh, that's a lovely way to see it, Cleo, but let's be honest, people just want a bone. Fatima seems really pressed about this dance thing, huh? She's a no-nonsense type of girl. But I'm sure she'll have fun, just like everyone else. Don't you think it might be because... You know... These kinds of events come with a lot of... Boy slash girl interaction? What do you mean? I just figured she probably doesn't approve of... Premarital dating and all that stuff. As I said... Fatima is a no-nonsense type of girl. She likes people around her to be honest and straightforward more than anything else. So if one were to, I don't know, ask her out, I'd say the best course of action would be to avoid subterfuge and mind games at all costs. You feel me? You're one to talk. What? Why? First thing you need to learn is how to smile. <laughs> yeah, not like that. <laughs> you don't want to show off your braces, do you? They are so unesthetic. You have to be subtle. Just a little smirk. Like you know something he doesn't. What is it that I know? <laughs> Nothing, clearly. Don't be mean to our student, May. She's still learning, the poor thing. Yeah, learning how to be a bitch. Excuse you! What is she even doing here? Uh, this is my room too, you know. Candy! Can't you just kick her out already? Hey, no worries. I'm tired of listening to this bullshit anyway. I'll see myself out. Hey, you should probably leave as well. These girls aren't trying to help you. You don't really know them. They're way nicer than they seem. If you say so. So, when should I ask Ryan to the dance? And how? Oh, sweetie, you're not gonna ask him. You're gonna go to the party with all of your single friends and dance with them like you don't even care about him. That's what boys want. They want girls who don't give a crap about them. They like the chase. And you'll be so pretty, he won't be able to resist you. By the end of the night, he'll be the one to ask you to dance with him. We'll make sure of that. So, who's the lucky girl? Did you invite someone already? Not sure yet. Why? You got any ideas? <laughs> oh, don't be silly. I'm just making conversation. In the back of the car, on the way to the bar, I got you on my lips, I got you on my lips, at the foot of the stairs, with my fingers in your hair, baby this is it, she won't ever get enough, once she gets a little touch, if I had it my way, you know that I'd make a say, this Halloween dance huh, who are you going with, not you you fucking loser, You really think I could be pretty enough for him? <laughs> of course, sweetie. What are you even talking about? You just need a little bit of a makeover. That's all. After that, he will only have eyes for you. Hey, can I ask you something? Sure, spit it out. Why aren't you in Laurie's room? I mean, you two are practically carbon copies of each other. It would have made sense for you to be roommates as well. We can't pick our roommates. Thought my mom made that pretty clear the first day. Yeah, but she's your mom. I figured she'd let you do anything you wanted. <sighs> well, she clearly doesn't. I tried calling her. 
Or did you already forget that? I don't know. I, I thought there was like an act or something. You actors can be so dramatic and... You're also good at coming up with bullshit when you need to. And musicians are so much better, aren't they? All you do is sing about stuff you don't even know about. Millions and millions of three-chord love songs that don't even mean anything. <laughs> Alright, well, at least real musicians write their own stuff. Actors are nothing more than just trained parrots. <laughs> Whatever. I don't expect someone like you to understand anything about art. God, do you ever stop texting? Fuck, it's so annoying. Who are you even talking to? Mind your fucking business. Ah, uh, of course. It all makes sense now. That's why Laurie doesn't want to be in the same room as you. Because that's what happened, right? She kicked you out. Wow, I never thought someone could be even more annoying than her. But hey, here we are. Candy, sweetie, we've been roommates for years now. Don't you think it's time for a change? We always go together. So, how to go with the mean girls? They're not mean, I swear! I had the most amazing time with them today. Lori even said they're gonna let me go shopping with them, so they can help me pick out a dress. I'm glad someone's having fun. I already know it's gonna be a complete disaster. You mean, for me? N no, for me. My parents will be chaperones at the dance, which doesn't even make sense considering that we're all adults. But it doesn't have to make sense, I guess. I know why they're doing this. They wanna keep an eye on me and make sure that I live up to their standards. What standards? They want me to get all dolled up for the party. I thought I'd be free from their dumb rules once I started university. But I guess you can't outrun your family. Wait, are you trying to tell me that you dressed all girly before coming here? <laughs> Let's just say there's a very solid reason why I burned all my high school pictures. Such a shame. But also, I'm definitely with you on this one. I don't see what all the fuss is about. Boys are lame. Most of them will never have the guts to invite the girl they like. Who said it should be the boys inviting us? If you like someone, just go for it and fuck the patriarchy while you're at it. You might have a point. What about you, Cleo? How come you don't have a boyfriend? What do you mean? First of all, you're gorgeous. Second, did I already mention you're gorgeous? Thank you, but you're all gorgeous as well, and, and I don't see how that has to do with anything. But there must be someone you like. Well, there's this one guy, but I don't even know his name, and I only talked to him once at the freshman party, before he vanished into the night like some sort of- Dollar store Batman? Please continue. I keep meeting him around campus, but I can't bring myself to talk to him again. And he doesn't talk to me either, so I guess he's not interested. I don't even know if he remembers me from that night. I'm sure he does, Cleo. You're not as forgettable as you think you are. I better get going now. It's getting late. Why don't you just stay with us for the night? It's okay, I like my privacy. Reason why I decided to rent an apartment off campus. Oh, we're gonna miss you. <laughs> I'm sure you will. Any luck on finding a singer for the band? Nope. People stopped auditioning after they figured out just how picky we are. I never heard you sing, now that I think about it. You sure you don't want to give it a try? Nah, that's not my thing. You just had a flashback, didn't you? Stop worrying about me, Travis. I promise you, I'm fine. And I promise that I'll get you talking somehow. If it's the last thing I do... I thought you knew everything. Nah, only the dumb things the director put 
up to my mouth. Love of mine, someday you will die, but I'll be close behind. I follow you into the dark. No blinding lights, no tunnels to gates of white. Just our hands clasped so tight, waiting for the hint of a spark. If heaven and hell decide that they both are satisfied, why are you not sleeping, Cleo? Are you okay? You always seem so tense. This is all new to me. I've never had any friends. I've always been alone. Then I follow you into the dark. Then I follow you into the dark I got the part! I got the part! And who's playing Glenda? <laughs> Who cares? It's probably some basic bitch anyway. Ooh, the shade. Girls, we're in. We're all in the show. Are you being serious right now? Wait, you mean me too? Of course. Why wouldn't I include you? Hey, how are you doing? Is everything okay at home? Yeah, everything's fine. I heard about your audition, by the way. What? How? I've literally just learned about it. Judith Ward sent out the invitations to the show first thing in the morning. Guess she didn't want to waste any time. So you're coming? And mom and dad too? Actually, I was just about to call you. Mom and dad would be leaving for the holidays, so there's no way they can be there since... Well, it's right before Christmas, isn't it? And I'll probably have to work a lot during the holiday season. So many cases to close before the end of the year, you know. You won't be there? None of you? I'm sorry, Cleo. We just have different priorities, I guess. But we're all proud of you. I'm sure you'll do great. Hey, Cleo. Me and the others were just heading out for lunch. Are you coming? No, I'll... I just need some time alone. Is everything alright? I just had a pretty enlightening conversation with my sister. One of many. Let me guess. Your family's not coming to the show. In fact, they couldn't care less about it? Harsh, but true. I know I should be grateful because they gave me the opportunity to come here, but it's like they only let me do this so I would shut up about it. They don't want anything to do with me anymore. Not if I'm me, and it hurts. After all this time, it still hurts. Uh, I know what you mean. My father doesn't get it either. He thinks dancing is not a career. But I'll show him. How can you stay so positive all the time? Life's easier when you let go of your parents' expectations. The way I see it, it's their choice. They can either accept you or not. And if they don't... Well, it sucks for them, I guess. I wish it was that easy to just let go. I never said it was easy, but it's worth it.
How do I look? You're perfect, sweetie. You should definitely get this one. We'll wait for you outside. That dress is hideous. No way Ryan's gonna ask her to dance with him if she's wearing that. <laughs> Plus, of course Ryan's coming to the dance with me. Duh. <laughs> oh yeah? Did you ask him? No, I did not ask him. I'm not some desperate little girl. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> Nothing, sweetie. Now let's go get some boba to celebrate. Only if it's sugar-free. There seems to have been a recent breakthrough in Thorn Bailey's investigation. Apparently, the police have come across a series of text and email exchanges between him and the renowned head of Ward University, Miss Judith Ward herself. The police have refused to share the nature of the correspondence with the public, but many have started to wonder whether Judith Ward might be involved in Bailey's crimes. Our sources tell us that many reporters have flocked to Ward University already, looking to get an exclusive interview with the headmistress. Yes, it's true. Thorne and I have been in contact in the past. That's just how it works when you're as famous as we are. Everyone knows everyone, and everyone is friends with everyone, as long as it's convenient. And I promptly realized something wasn't quite right about him, as the authorities will certainly confirm. Our correspondence was cut short months before the accident. You're calling that an accident? A girl was murdered. Tomato, tomato. What's done is done. We don't need to get technical. What's done could have been avoided. What do you mean when you said you knew something was wrong about him? Could the murder of Vanessa Jung have been prevented? What was the nature of the correspondence? Did Thorne's wife know about your friendship? <laughs> come back, Miss, Miss Ward. Ward. Miss have you Ward. talked to Miss Octavia Ward. Moon? Miss Ward. Miss Ward, come back. Miss Ward. Miss Ward, come back. Miss Ward. Whoa, what the hell was that about? Sounded pretty obvious to me. There's something Judith Ward's not telling the press. About Thorne Bailey. Yeah, that guy. If I had to guess, I'd say they used to bang. Ew, what the fuck, Travis? What? That guy would bang a bedside table if he could. I'm sure he has dozens of bastard children scattered all over the world. I don't know, it's gotta be more than that. Like, if I were Judith Ward? I wouldn't risk my reputation like that just to hide some past relationship that has nothing to do with, well, a murder. I mean, life is basically perfect. Why would she anger the press like that if she didn't have a good reason? All that glitters is not gold, you know? People in Del Sol Valley are very fond of their secrets, and anything can get you cancelled nowadays. Hell, Diego Lobo got cancelled last month because someone found out he didn't tip waiters. Jeez, what's up with him? He must be really bummed about this Diego Lobo scandal. Didn't know he was a fan. Stop. Stop the music. That was absolutely dreadful. Erica, you did good. Raymond, too. But Cleo, you dance like you have a stick up your... Well, I don't want to be crass. And you should move to the back, Miss Harper. That way the audience won't have to endure your uninspired performance. Now let's start from the top, shall we?
I don't understand. Why would they choose me for the show if I'm so awful? What if she's just trying to help? Maybe Professor Drawn is just trying to push you to improve yourself. It sure doesn't sound like it. More like she's trying to push me off a cliff. She's been torturing me since the day I got here. Erica does have a point, though. What other reason would she have to treat you like this? Maybe she just doesn't like me. She probably picked me so she could have one more occasion to put me down in front of everyone. She knows I'm going to fail and she just can't wait to see it happen. Did something happen? Read the room, Ez. That's exactly what I did. That's why I asked. The dance rehearsals were awkward, to say the least. I'm regretting everything already. Professor Drawn really doesn't like that ginger ballerina. She basically blasted her in front of everyone, multiple times. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Why? And why are you here anyway? I, uh, well, I... You knew you'd find me here because I'm working on the music for the show, and you thought you'd use me as an excuse to see that cute ballerina chick, but you didn't think of a lie to tell me. Rookie mistake. What, do you think I was born yesterday or something? Nah, that's not it. You totally misinterpreted the situation. Oh yeah? Enlighten me then. Aha! Gotcha! Ezra's got a crush! That's adorable! It's like that old Avril Lavigne song! Shut up. Uh, he was a boy, and she was a girl. Travis, enough! He was a punk. She did ballet. I said enough. All right, all right. What more can I say? Oh, for fuck's sake. What's up, Jazz? Ryan said he'll be here any minute. Wanna play a game while we wait for him? Sorry, Gideon. I'm really not in the mood. Too high? Yeah, plus, I was thinking about something Tia told me the other day. You're not serious, are you? Dude, that girl is messed up. No, yeah, I know. It's just, it's kind of funny. She said I was wasting my talents. That's dumb, right? Actually? You know what? I don't like saying this, but I kind of agree with her on that one. You are too good for whatever this is. I'm too good. What about you then? You're way more of an artist than I'll ever be, and yet you waste 99% of your time chasing chicks and getting wasted with me. You're right. We should be chasing chicks together. That's literally the opposite of what I'm trying to say. Picture this. Me taking you out of this slum for a night and being your wingman. And speaking of chicks, how come you and Tia never, you know, hooked up? She's obviously begging for you to do her. Dude, gross. She's my friend. Oh, so she's your friend now. Thought you said she was messed up. You said that. You didn't disagree. Okay, well, she's complicated. But I never thought of her that way. And I'm sure she hasn't thought of me like that either. She called me a junkie. Why would she want to be with me? Jeez, boys, lighten up for a change. Why is it every time I leave you two together, you end up commiserating? It's almost cute. Why so late, Ryan? Heard you got the part in the musical. Were you having trouble unhooking your bra? I was just hanging out with Lori. She's so thirsty. I think she wants me to take her to the Halloween dance or something. Should we head downstairs? Derek's waiting. Yeah, sure. Is everything all right, Derek? You look pissed. <laughs> Do you have any idea how hard it is to live with Jasper right now? I've had to start hiding drugs from him. We can't sell shit if he keeps snorting and smoking everything he finds. That's drug dealing 101, man. Don't do the fucking drugs. We're the ones who got him hooked though, aren't we? 
And he is paying, right? Yeah. But what will happen when his parents figure out he's lying to them and stop sending him money? We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Let's talk about actual business now. The school's throwing a dance party for Halloween, so we're gonna need to place a big order for tonight. Coke, pot, molly. Anything you can find. Just gather them all up and give me a price. Understood? Awesome. Just give Jasper what he wants. Even if he's out of money, I'll pay for the guy. It's not a problem. Besides, I'm sure we'll find some use for him in the future. I take my pills and I'm happy all the time. I'm happy all the time. I'm happy all the time. I love my girl, but she ain't worth the price. She ain't worth the price. No, she ain't worth the price.